welcome to my channel today we will study wave particle duality this lecture is third in our quantum mechanics series earlier we studied the core concepts of quantum mechanics the particulate nature of electromagnetic radiation planck's equation einstein's quantization of energy the photon and its characteristics and the electromagnetic spectrum this included work of some of the pioneers in the field of quantum mechanics who were awarded Nobel Prize, which is an award honoring the best work in some subjects, including physics, and is viewed as the highest intellectual honor in the world. Now, wave-particle duality is a very broad topic. Therefore, I have further divided it in three videos. Today, I will recap briefly the work of the most outstanding scientists, and you will learn about other different theories put forward by different scientists in different periods of time. to prove that all matter exhibits wave particle duality or wave particle dual nature that is sometimes it behaves as a particle and sometimes it behaves as waves table of contents newton versus hagen jung's double slit experiment planck's quantization albert einstein's quantization of energy de broglie's hypothesis schrodinger wave equation and heisenberg uncertainty principle Newton versus Hagen Whether the light is a particle or a wave the debate on this topic first began in the 17th century Newton was convinced from different interpretations of the experimental evidences that light was a particle Hagen on the other hand said that light is a wave According to Newton's corpuscular theory every source of light like the sun or a candle emit large number of particles called corpuscles in a medium surrounding the source these corpuscles travel in straight lines with high velocity in all possible directions when these particles enter our eyes an image of the object or sensation of vision is produced hagen's principle states that every point on a wave front see this plane wave every point these circular red dots on a wave front give rise to secondary wavelets these small waves which spread out in all the directions with the speed of a wave the new position of the wave front at time t can be determined using hagen's principle this new wave front is formed by drawing a line tangent to all the wavelets this line is tangent to all the wavelets this wave particle debate of light was resolved by famous physicist thomas jung's double slit experiment on the basis of interference pattern observed on the screen in this experiment jung arrived at a judgment that light must be a wave as interference is a property of waves max planck Max Planck's quantization so on the basis of experimental evidences Planck's idea of quantization or release of energy in discrete packets formed the basis of quantum mechanics that revolutionized physics he postulated e equal to h nu where nu is the frequency of electromagnetic radiation and h is Planck's constant its value is 6.63 into 10 raised to the power minus 34 joules into seconds No Heinrich Hertz in 1897 conducted an experiment whose results were perfectly explained by Planck's equation therefore the photoelectric effect was accidentally discovered by him but he could not explain it Albert Einstein explained photoelectric effect on the basis of quantum theory when suitable frequency of light is incident on metal surface electrons are emitted these are called photoelectrons and phenomena is known as photoelectric emission or photoelectric effect de broglie's question was if photons exhibit wave and particle properties would all matter do so as well de broglie postulated the wave nature of electrons Einstein appreciated his brilliant idea. De Broglie's theory was 
proved to be correct after Davison and Germer performed the double slit experiment in 1927 using electrons. An interference pattern was observed by the reflected electrons. Hence, de Broglie's theory of matter having wave properties proved to be correct. He associated waves with matter because electron is a particle, material particle. Due to his revolutionary findings, de Broglie won the Nobel Prize in Physics in 1929. His work marked the beginning of the development of wave mechanics. Schrodinger wave equation. Schrodinger formulated a differential equation that describes the wave nature of a quantum mechanical system. The concept of a wave function and its discovery is a significant landmark in the development of quantum mechanics. The wave function and the corresponding energies often called eigenfunctions and eigenvalues respectively describe the quantum state of a particle. In the Copenhagen interpretation of quantum mechanics, the wave function is the most complete description that can be given of a physical system. Solution to Schrodinger's equation describes system not only at microscopic level like molecular, atomic and subatomic, but also macroscopic systems, possibly even the whole universe. Heisenberg uncertainty principle. Due to the matter wave nature of all quantum objects, Heisenberg stated a principle known as Heisenberg uncertainty principle, which, which is a fundamental property of quantum systems. The principle states that it is not possible to determine accurately the position and momentum of a particle at the same time. There is uncertainty in momentum if position is known accurately and there will be uncertainty in position if the momentum of a particle is known accurately. Therefore, product of uncertainties in the position and momentum of a particle is greater or equal to h over 4 pi where h is Planck's constant. So just to recap briefly, Newton said light is a particle, Hagen said light is a wave. Young on the basis of double slit experiment proved that light is a wave. Now Planck's quantization and Albert Einstein's quantization of energy proved uh, particle nature of electromagnetic radiation. It means all these scientists work conclude that light sometimes behave as a particle and sometimes it behaves like waves. So this was the re reason that de Broglie then put forward it, his question and it was later on proved that not only electromagnetic radiation but all the matter has actually dual nature. So this is all about wave particle duality and Schrodinger uh, uh, formulated a wave equation and Heisenberg stated a principle that if matter has dual nature then at the same time we cannot determine the position of both quantities accurately. Like if position is known accurately, momentum is uncertain and if momentum is known accurately, we cannot find out the position of the particle at the same time with accuracy. Now in my next video, I will discuss the photoelectric effect in detail. How photoelectric effect provides evidence for a particulate nature of electromagnetic radiation, the significance of threshold frequency, Moreover, I will explain photoelectric phenomena in terms of photon energy and work function and the significance of Einstein photoelectric equation. So after that, I will discuss de Broglie's hypothesis. I will describe and interpret qualitatively the evidence provided by electron diffraction for the wave nature of particles and the relationship for the de Broglie's wavelength lambda equal to h over p where lambda is the wavelength associated with material particles h is Planck's constant and p is the momentum of the particle which is a product of mass and velocity. Thank you for watching.